Are you having trouble getting your Roku to show up on your TV? Well, we know what you need to do to get this issue fixed. Stick around till the end and check out all the steps that I mentioned in this video to make your Roku work seamlessly with your TV. Power is essential for all electronic devices to work properly. In the absence of a proper power supply, devices tend to go haywire. And this may be the reason why your Roku is not showing up on your TV. The status LED on the front of your Roku can let you know the existence of a proper power supply for the device. Once the Roku receives sufficient power, the LED should light up. If the LEDs on your Roku don't light up, it's safe to say that sufficient power is not being delivered to your device. Damage to the power cable and the power adapter can all attribute to be the prime culprits behind this predicament. Check the cables and the power adapter for any explicit damage, wear and tear, rust at portents, shafts or crooks. If you notice any such inconsistencies, replace the worn out accessories with new ones preferably from a reputed brand. The way you power your Roku is also very crucial when it comes to the power supply. Since most Roku devices require an external power supply, you must power them using a stable power source like a power adapter. Powering your Roku through your TV's USB port may seem like a very convenient option, but they are far from being a stable power source for your Roku. And so, I recommend that you switch to a proper power adapter for powering your Roku as soon as possible. In case you still can't get your Roku powered up even after using a power adapter, try using a different power adapter or a power outlet. Now, if you have no issues powering up your Roku but still can't get picture on your TV, you might want to check the HDMI cable and its associated ports. Similar to a damaged power supply, worn out HDMI cables and ports can also mess up the connection between your Roku and your TV. Needless to say, if you find your HDMI cables to be damaged, replace them with fresh ones. When choosing HDMI cables, opt for a cable that supports at least HDMI 2.2 standards and is of less than 2 meters in length as longer cables can cause interference. In case the HDMI port on your TV is damaged, switch to a different port as modern TVs support a plethora of HDMI ports. However, if you still can't find a port that works for you, then there's little you can do other than getting your TV checked by an authorized professional. Opting for a replacement unit while you're still in warranty can also be a viable strategy. Now, unlike most of the causes that I've mentioned so far, human error can also be a prime reason behind why your Roku does not seem to work with your TV. Choosing the right input source corresponding to the HDMI port that you plugged your Roku into is critical. So, once you've properly confirmed which HDMI port that you plugged your Roku into, press the input or source button on your TV remote and choose the corresponding source to which your Roku is connected to. If you can only still see a black screen, then it can only mean that something is not right with your Roku. Often, this issue can be attributed to bugs and errors that may have manifested on your Roku over time. And the best way to get rid of all those bugs and errors is to factory reset your Roku. Now, since you can't reset your Roku the usual way, which is by using the Roku UI, you'll have to perform the reset in a more hands-on manner. Roku devices usually come with a reset button located at the bottom or the back of the device. Now, this button can vary depending on the device. It can either be a usual tactile button like on the Roku Express that I have here or it can be a pinhole button which you can trigger using a paper clip or a pointed object. Either way, press and hold the button for about 10 seconds. Once the factory reset has been initiated, the LED will blink rapidly to indicate that the reset is complete. Once done, power on your TV and check if the issues persist. And with that, I believe that I've touched on everything that I wanted to talk about regarding a Roku that's not showing up on your TV. If you found this video useful, do comment your thoughts below give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Roku content like this.